Thousands of tributes have been paid to the BBC Radio Newcastle presenter Lisa Shaw, who's died at the age of 44. Lisa, who'd worked at radio stations across the North East for nearly 25 years, died in hospital on Friday after a short illness. But among the many social media tributes today, the singer Joe McAldry said, thoughts to all of Lisa's family, friends and colleagues. She was a lovely lady, so very sad. Anna writes, so sad to hear this. Lisa interviewed me on the radio once and was such a welcoming and sunny presence. Karen said it was a big shock. Lovely lady and a great advocate for the North East. Ollie recalls, on the few occasions I met Lisa, I was left feeling the world was a good place. Her smile and words were warmth and generosity. Jonathan tells us, Lisa simply was everything we love about the North East embodied in one radio show. And Graeme says she was one of those distinctive and iconic voices that almost everyone immediately recognised, full of humour and warmth. So let's hear just a little of that familiar voice. Morning. So you want to dance, Marjorie, is that right? Well, it's just so I don't get stagnant. You know? <laughs> I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Step, tap, step, tap, and shimmy your shoulders, shimmy. Marjorie, are you still with us? Well, I am, but I, I'm having trouble holding the phone. And... <laughs> <laughs> Lisa was a trusted colleague, she was a brilliant presenter, she was a wonderful friend and she was a loving mum and wife. Everyone at the station is devastated. Lisa loved being on the radio and it's, it's obvious from the reaction of the audience that the, the listeners loved her as well and our thoughts are with Lisa's family. BBC Radio T's presenter Gary Phillipson worked alongside Lisa at Real Radio for many years. They won a Sony Gold Award for Breakfast Show of the Year in 2012. And earlier I spoke to Gary and asked him about his memories of Lisa. Professional, loving, caring, um, fastidious. Um, I've never known anyone prepare like her for, for work and for life and just a gorgeous person inside out. Uh, I, I, whether you're at work or out of work, she just was the same person and, and the love and attention she gave everyone, it was, it was just amazing. You described her as your sort of on-air wife, in a way, didn't three you? Three times. Yeah, three times. She's been my wife on air. We worked together and we sort of... We could finish each other's sentences off because she, she completed my... me on air and uh, when I worked with her, I, I, I would have been able to fall back off a window ledge and know that she would have caught me in that sort of sense. And we just had so much fun and we treated it. It was like two friends sat around a coffee table chatting when we were on air uh, and we never thought of it as anything else. And there's been an absolute outpouring of affection for Lisa from listeners, from colleagues, from people who met her, people who were interviewed by her. Um, yeah. And it's astonishingly touching, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's phenomenal. And it just goes to show how, how effective she was in her, in her life as a professional broadcaster and as a person. Because whether it was walking around the supermarket, she'd still have a bit of time for everyone. And when she went out and did jobs, you know, working and interviewing people, she genuinely cared. And I think that's the key. It's, it, it, she cared about what she did. She loved what she did and she loved the people she spoke to. And, and I think it's a fitting tribute for all the wonderful things people are saying about it because they're all true. Lisa Shaw, very much missed, I can tell you, by her BBC family here. We move